All right, Kevin, thanks for the warning there. The Xavier Musketeers moving on in the NCAA tourney today after a comeback in North Carolina. Were you watching this thing? WLW2 News Science Olivia Ray live for us in Greensboro tonight with the nail biter coming down literally to the final seconds. Hi, Olivia. <laughs> Hi, Sheree. I've stopped sweating only because I've stepped outside, though. I think I am along along with everyone else that was in attendance and watching from home. Now, Xavier survived and advanced. They are moving on to the round of 32. It took every wild second to survive an upset over upset bid over 14 seed Kennesaw State. Now, the middle 20 minutes of this game were nearly disastrous for Xavier. Kennesaw State settled into their transition offense and built a 13 point lead in the second half of this game. Then at the 12 minute mark, 12 minutes to go in this game, the Musketeer fans that were in attendance, they rose to their feet and you could actually feel the momentum shift in this building behind me. Xavier, it lit a fire for them defensively. They strung together a series of stops and went on a 15-0 run down the stretch that saved their season. Afterwards, I spoke with a couple of the players and coach about what went in to that turning point. You know, I, I think the last, in our minds, the last four, four segments of the game, so, you know, going in around that 13, 14 minute mark, we won those segments and some of it maybe was our size around the basket, but we just did a better overall job defending them. We had to overcome it. Um, we got to play to, we got to go back to do what we do and um, just match them, just match because they were playing harder than us. Kennedy State is a good team and they were just playing very hard. And um, once we matched it, we, uh, we kind of took over the game. Jerome Hunter definitely took over this game. He put up a career best 24 points today, which played a huge part in that second half rally. Xavier, they move on to the second round. The Muskies will meet the winner of Iowa State or Pitt coming up on Sunday.